motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. Back with another vlog. <laughs> What are we getting into? Who knows? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Stay a while, kick your feet up, make sure you subscribe. And if you are returning, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. So I actually just got back from my Invisalign appointment. I never give y'all updates on my Invisalign because it's always so up and down. Like, I be having problems with it. I'm at Starbucks, y'all. Give me a second. I don't know what I'm gonna order. Welcome to Starbucks, this is Jason. Can you get your name? Hi Jason, this is Alexis. Hey Alexis, what can I get you? Can I just have a second, please? Sure, can take a chance. What y'all be getting from Starbucks? Y'all know I'm not a big coffee girl, but I am very tired this morning. Can I try the toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso? Yeah, sure. Um, whatever the small is, is that y'all grande? Uh, it'd be the taller, the small. Tall, um, small with light ice. ice, please. Is it sweet? Yeah, the toasted vanilla, it's um, it's pretty sweet. It, it tastes kind of marshmallowy. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Anything else for you? That's all. All right, 567. Thank you. I be having problems with my Invisalign, y'all, because there's something called tracking. So tracking is when your Invisalign is fitting your teeth very snug. I get to a point in my trays where my tracking is off and my Invisalign is not fitting these two teeth. I'm about to show y'all in a second. So for example, I don't know how well y'all can see on camera, but these two teeth, the Invisalign isn't fitting snug, so my tracking is off. So whenever that happens, he'll send off for new trays, which usually takes like a month. I've had to do that twice. Thank you, have a good one. I just feel like the whole process is gonna take a lot longer than I had originally expected. I was originally supposed to be a year and a half um, but I feel like this is easily gonna take me like two years to complete, which is my patience. But you know, I didn't. I really didn't want braces, like for obvious reasons. I, I really didn't want braces, and a veneers was a quick thought, but that was here and gone because I don't want no damn veneers. So this is the best option, guys. But it's just taking me a little longer. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I literally never give you guys an update about my Invisalign. Y'all be asking my girl, do you still wear your retainers? I be wearing them. But today should be a good time. I have a little bit of errands to run during the day and then we're going to Taco Tuesday and then bowling. Angui <laughs> and um, Caitlin. Y'all, I also have to redeem myself because, you know, last vlog I was talking about how I hit a curb and my wheel had a slow leak in it. Yes, I had a slow leak. Yes, I did hit the curb. However, I took it to BMW and there was a nail in my tire. That's why I had a slow leak. Because I was feeling really bad. I was feeling like a complete failure. Like, oh my God, I really can't drive. But whole time there was a nail in my tire. So that made me feel better. Of course, I had to buy a new fucking tire, which was not how I buy a new tire before I paid my first payment. Like, how that happen? But anyway, it was a nail, not me. And I love that for me. Period. All right, back to the future. Okay, I'm dressed and I'm about to head out to bowling, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. <laughs> I got the Madagascar Vanilla perfume oil I was talking about in one of my Get Ready With Me's recently. Because I wanted to try it out for myself, but I didn't want to get the big bottle because it's $100. So this roller ball I think is like 40 bucks. So I can try it out, see if I like it, and then I'll go ahead and get the big one. It smells so good. I just want to make sure like, it's actually fragrant, like people could smell me. If my boyfriend, if I hug him and he don't say nothing, or if I go around a group of people and they're like, well, who smells good? <laughs> I'm going to keep this right in my purse with me. This is going to last me nothing but a week the way I use my perfumes and stuff. Okay, so let's head out. Like I said, we're going to Tacos. What's the name of the spot? And I know it's going to be traffic because it's in Midtown. Um, Bar Taco. And then we're gonna go to Bolero. I think that's in, um, what's that one spot in Midtown with all the shops and stuff? What's that, you know what I'm talking about. 
I want ice game there. I cannot think of the name, but that's where we're going. You ever hit your ankle or a, or a toe or anything and just wait for the pain to kick in because there's always that like two second delay. Like you hit your fucking toe, you know it's gonna hurt so you just brace for the pain. That's what just happened, my fucking ankle. But anyway, y'all don't believe what day it is, okay? Last time I checked in with you guys, it was before Taco Tuesday. It is sexy Saturday, honey. I'm talking about a whole five days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday a whole four days that I have just been not vlogging. But I'm back, Taco Tuesday was a good time, though I did not vlog at all, you know who did? Ongli. So I'm gonna link her channel here, maybe her next vlog will have like some footage of us bowling. We did um, Bolero, who's else that? The taco place, then we went to hide, then we went to the club, y'all, we was out. Like, I was out thinking I was grown. I also met Aaliyah's face for the first time, dope vibes for sure, and Kiana. So that was a cute vibe. Like I said, we had fun. The next day I had to recover, like a little too much tequila. Now it's Saturday, I'm about to get ready in a little bit. I'm going to a birthday dinner for Josh. Shout out to him, he's uh, turning another year older, fabulous. He has, he's one of the people that take their birthday very serious. So there's a dress code I have to wear all red with a hint of gold. So I thank God I have a red dress in my closet already because Laura knows I did not feel like going to the mall. So I'm gonna do hair and makeup. Not hair, because there's really not much for me to do. I don't know, I was thinking, my underarms don't look too dark. Random, but I don't know, I was thinking of putting that ponytail in, or should I just do a slick back with like a, I don't know. I really don't know what I wanna do. Like, I always just feel so bald with this slick back until I turn to the side. I'd be trying to turn to the side every chance I get so people, you know, can see that I got something going on back there, y'all. It's a mess. Anyway, I was also supposed to film a video today, but I just don't know. <sighs> I might just film it tomorrow. Say so fuck it and film it tomorrow. And today I'm just gonna get ready. And that's what we'll do. I feel like I found the perfect Foundation, I've been looking for a new foundation. Look at this side of my face. Of course, I only did my cheek, I didn't do all the way up here, and then this side. But I really like the coverage. What is this, what is this, what is this? Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation in the color Neutral. 10 Neutral, I absolutely love the finish. Not too, the Fenty to me is just too a little too much moisture. But then the other one I had that I was using for a long time, the Laura, Mer the Estee Lauder Double Wear, was just too dry. So I had to find something right in the middle. And I love, 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 love this. I'm so happy I found something I like because for me, I always stick to the same foundations for literally years at a time because I'd be scared to veer off and try new stuff because then I don't like it and I have to take it back and then uh, I waste my time. But this one I really, really like. And I just ended up putting a part. One thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eavesdrop on somebody's conversation. Y'all hear him? Someone's on parole, I'm not even fucking joking. That's what he's talking about. But um, yeah, you know, slick back bun. I cannot wait to get my hair done <laughs> on when. When I get my hair done on Wednesday, I'll be so tired of my bun so quick, y'all. Look how flawless that looks. That coverage is just flawless. But um, let me shut up, get my makeup together, and then I'll come back when I'm like about to get dressed. <laughs> People be on their balconies just talking so loud. All right, back to my music. Only thing I'm missing is a necklace. I don't have enough necklaces. I don't like that for me. Well, we're all dressed in our all red attire. All red with a hint of gold. Okay, so we're headed to House Steak Market. It's about, or Steakhouse, whatever. Excuse me, it's about 15 minutes away. Not me doing a little eyeshadow, guys. I never do eyeshadow, ever, ever. I was feeling myself. I was feeling myself. <laughs> 
Hey, John. Ja. Um, Look fabulous. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Okay, so dinner was cool. Dinner was great. Um, we didn't end up going out or anything. Um, I just ended up coming home and I played in some makeup. Okay, so let me tell you something about eyeliner. I don't really do eyeshadow, but with my eyeshadow today, I was like, ooh, it's just missing some eyeliner. But I didn't have the balls to put on eyeliner before I actually had somewhere to go. So Lancome sent me over some stuff and they sent me over liquid eyeliner. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna try out some eyeliner. And why is liquid eyeliner so hard to put on? Like, it looks like I let a four-year-old play on my face. It's so hard, but guess what? I was on TikTok looking up liquid eyeliner tutorials and I found this. And it looks completely foolproof. Like, I need that. So tomorrow I'm gonna try it out because I've always wanted to be very efficient in liquid eyeliner. Like you cannot put on eyeshadow, even though I don't do eyeshadow a lot. You can't do eyeshadow without eyeliner. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys how dinner was. It was lovely in that we're gonna tackle this eyeliner tomorrow because baby, what are you doing? Um, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, I got some stuff in the mail. Unlike my last trip to Aruba when nothing came, everything has come in the mail. I just feel so good like when everything comes through at the right time. And I'm gonna actually pack because I leave on Thursday. I leave on Thursday afternoon. Um, so I'm probably gonna pack early. And not this vlog probably gonna end up turning into a maintenance vlog because I gotta get nails, lashes, hair done within these next few days so i'm just gonna take you guys with me because this vlog has been all over the place and i don't even think we're at like 10 minutes yet like girl the ghetto but let me show y'all what i got in the mail oh you know what else i need to order um from amazon right now after i show you guys this the um when you're in different countries you have to buy the different outlets or maybe I can go right to Target. They should have them. I shouldn't have to order them, actually. But anyway, I don't want to tell you guys exactly where I'm going because I like to keep it a surprise. Like, you'll see on my story when I arrive. Follow me on Instagram. Like, I just like to keep it, you know. But obviously, I'm ordering jackets and hats and stuff. It's not like the Caribbean. Guys, it's somewhere that's going to be a little chilly. You have to have the houndstooth, babes. I should have got a size small, I can already tell. No, actually this looks good. Oh, so it's like a houndstooth jacket. So cute, bougie. I love the bougie girly look. I love a good houndstooth jacket. Oh, this is nice quality, guys. I got this from Catwalk Connection on Instagram. Oh, I'm actually glad I got a medium because I would not be able to fit a small. Oh, I can barely fit this medium. But I wanted it to be small, so that's good. Oh, it's gonna be cute, yeah. Giving very much Hillary Banks. By the way, have you guys watched the new um, spinoff of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Bel Air on Peacock? It's actually so good. Like I thought it would be corny. I was like, why? You know, everything don't need a sequel or you know how they did like Coming to America too and I was absolutely terrible. I thought it was gonna be like the same, like don't do it, you're gonna ruin it. But it's actually really good, so check it out. I like this. This is her. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. The 
to go with it to complete the look. I got a hat. Like this is a specific type of style. Like you can't just, you know. How do I open this now? From Farfetch. Why did y'all have to do this? Like, like, why do I gotta rip apart the box? I don't want to do that. Ha ha! My hat is here, honey. I was so nervous that I wasn't gonna come because. I need that hat. You know, sometimes they be giving, you know, little discount codes in the box. Nothing. Farfetch don't do that. They don't give you no 20% off. Thank you for, you know. <laughs> Thank you for shopping with us. I forgot how much I paid for this stupid little hat. This hat was expensive. Um, but it's a Ruslan Bazinski. I've been seeing these hats more and more, and they're so nice. Like the quality of them. Ooh. Ruslan Bazinski RB look in crystal it has crystal and it just goes oh of course this bun is ruining things oh that is cute when I take this bun out of my head and have my you know my hair down and everything yes Honey, so cute. I just seen some other girl, like these hats are actually getting more and more popular. My boyfriend sent it to me. He like sent the, the hat link and he was like, I think you would like these hats. Yes, this girl here has one of these hats and she did the damn thing. Well, she just, I mean, tits are out and everything. She looks good, but. Oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. <sighs> That's annoying. Whoever this girl is, she's an Instagram girl. She was on my explore page. But can you see how she did the hat? She got like one of the teal ones. They have a lot of different colors, y'all. If you know, you know. You know, hats ain't for everybody, but I love a good hat, okay? So that's that. So let me go ahead and get on Amazon and order my plugs. It's always a good day when I'm on the way to get my lashes filled, my baby Desiree does my lashes and I'm gonna give you guys the details like of my lashes because I always get the question like okay what curl is this what length do you get and I don't ever know like I just tell them like give me like a, a mix between like a classic and hybrid because I don't like them too too heavy and I don't like them you know too classic because they don't last me nothing but a week because they be falling out just because I rub and stuff not because she don't know what she doing so I'm gonna give you all the details length curl and all that. are done and cute so I asked her I use 16 17 mm and she uses a D curl but she said her D curl are more straight than other people's D curl so I don't know what to do with that information for you guys but that is what I get and they look fabulous I get a hybrid like I said earlier I'm actually I'm actually an hour early for my nail appointment so I guess I'm just gonna call some people and 
annoy them. I'll call my mom. I can't see you. Is your phone connected? Yes. I haven't had long nails in so long. You know, I've been doing the short thing. Oh, I should not focus on my nails, but they're this milky white color. I love a good nude or like light pink, white, very simple girl. And the shaping is perfect. He got the shaping like absolutely perfect. I don't know if you guys can see. But look at that coffin. <laughs> um, I went to Andy. It's a guy, um, Tara Nails. Um, you know, I get excited for Taco Tuesdays, guys. I love a good taco. We get all the fixins. We have turkey meats, shrimp, pico de gallo, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, and then ranch. Y'all know I like to put ranch on my tacos. I think I'm the only one who puts ranch, but girl, it is so good. Oh my God. Relationships with men. I had children with men. Two beautiful daughters, but did not get married. Yes. Never met a soulmate until yes. Martina. Yes. 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 Not as back in this mirror again, girl. <laughs> How many times we've been at this mirror in these last few vlogs? But I really did want to try out the the eyeliner thing that I was showing you guys early from TikTok because I've always wanted to become efficient in eyeliner oh shit the only thing is that girl was using she was not using eyeliner she was using eyeshadow and i only have one palette here that's how you know i do not do eyeshadow i only have one palette like what type of girly girl am i a girly girl who doesn't do eyeshadow so i guess i would just have to use actual eyeliner let me watch this video one more time I'm really serious about this. I gotta find the eyeliner first. I gotta find the eyeliner. Oh. Fuck, where's the eyeliner? Putting the tape under your nose is a bit excessive, but I feel like they do that to make sure that it's symmetrical. On both sides. God, this is gonna be a problem. I can't breathe, fuck, okay. <laughs> okay. And then she did like so with this part. Oh, my lashes are in the way. Okay, let's see if this will work. I would just, it was like this. This is why I don't be on TikTok, y'all, because. Okay. Okay. I look like a goddamn fool. Child. I really can't breathe. Oh, no. Okay. Girl, if my boyfriend come in here right now and see what the fuck I'm doing, he could be like, girl, what, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I swear to God, she didn't look like this in the video. Okay, so I'm trying, I'm gonna try to do this quick so I can get this shit off of me really quick. Okay, all right. Seems like it, just fill that in. Okay. Okay, and then I can't look at the camera and do it at the same time. Oh, girl, like, what the fuck? Okay. All right. Oh, you gotta take this off first. Oh, maybe I should let it dry first. Let it dry first. Oh, child, my baby hairs. Okay. Oh. It didn't turn out how I thought it would turn out. Yeah, 
Maybe it was how I taped the tape. Maybe it was how I put the tape on there. But that's not how it's supposed to turn out. This is why I don't be trusting shit. I'm about to start packing. <laughs> and the thing is, I'm going to get all my outfits together. But I'm actually going to pack tomorrow. You guys have started um, a monster. Because there's a TikTok that I looked up, you know, like pack with me to see what, you know, what's the trend. And there's this really cute pack with me um, trend that's going on. So I'm going to do that tonight and then tomorrow i'm gonna have all my outfits together just literally throw everything in the suitcase i said you guys have created a monster okay now i'm on tiktok all the fucking time and by the way i posted my first tiktok because i think in the last vlog well the vlog before last um i was telling you guys that i would post my first tiktok when i got a thousand followers as promised i reached a thousand and then i posted my first tiktok girls it went up well, you know, it's not a viral viral, but it's like a good amount. I was like 30, it's like 30 something, 38K views for my first TikTok. That's good. Okay, so your girl's gonna keep going. So for the next 20 minutes or 30 minutes or however long it takes to make a TikTok, I'm gonna do that. Okay, yeah, I look a little crazy, but it's okay guys, you know, because in two hours time, I won't even be able to recognize myself. <laughs> um, but I got a lot done last night. I packed. I tried to get some clips together for a TikTok. We'll see. In two miles, keep left onto I-285 West toward Birmingham. We'll see when I put the clips together, like what it looks like and everything. But I got so much. I had to dye my hair. Fun fact, I always have to dye my hair before I get a sew in because my hair is like a sandy brown color and it still looks pretty brown. I rinsed it black last night and dye it. I just put a rinse in it. But then I washed my hair. I was like, oh shit, I'm supposed to rinse it after I wash it because I rinsed it with the black and then washed it. So a lot of the black came out. <laughs> Girl, it was like 2 a.m. I was tired, like. But anyway, that's where I'm headed now. Hair done. Um, and then, then we're going to the movies tonight. It's date night Ooh, with my boyfriend. We're gonna go see Batman. We're gonna go to IPIC, um, the theater in Atlanta that has like- Use the left three lanes to keep left onto I-285 West toward Birmingham. That has like the nice seats and, uh, and food and stuff. So we're gonna go there and then, I'm supposed to be going to karaoke tonight. Um, Aaliyah said she would let us know if she's able to book the room for karaoke. That would be so fun right before I leave. So I'll keep you guys updated. Keep left. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. We are cute. It's the perfect length. I had her cut off a lot because I wanted a more natural look this time around. You know, I love my inches, but sometimes a cute little look is just startling. This is so cute. Love it. The only thing I have to do is re dye the top of my hair, like always, because why? She was like, at this point, girl, you can just call it highlights because <laughs> that's what it looks like. It took a little bit longer than expected. Now I only have like. 30 minutes to get ready for uh, the movie theater. I don't even know if I want to change, honestly. I want to be comfortable anyway. Like, I really don't mind wearing what I got on. Heat up some tacos from last night. Even though they have food there. Um, but I got leftovers. So, 
Oh, also guys, you know what time it is when I pull out the green box. I got my HelloFresh today. This will probably be dinner, whatever they sent me. Oh, but I already tell some good. They sent me Silky Sicilian Penne, Greek Goddess Bulgare Bowls. Looks like chickpeas, hummus, cucumber feta, and then alpine mushroom paninis. So I'm gonna make Silky Sicilian Penne with mushroom, zucchini, and tomatoes tonight. That should be good. All right. do you have to be to not tell the next person in line that there's no toilet paper in in the stall like that's the least you could do like this girl looked me in my face knowing she had either used the last of the toilet paper or there wasn't any in the stall and didn't say anything I'm like wow what a bitch because when I got in the stall and peed I was like what a bitch <laughs> I would just never do that to nobody. I want to get some more footage for you guys in the movie, but I mean, there's only so much footage you can get in the movies. I tried to like turn my camera on and I had the flash on by accident. My boyfriend was like, that's where I draw the line. Like, you embarrassing. <laughs> I was trying to get footage for y'all. But I pick is cute, it's in Midtown. Um, they have an extensive menu, you can get drinks. Um, and they bring everything to you. They bring the popcorn to you, your drinks, your food, everything. He had a turkey burger, he said it was good. I just had a drink because I wasn't hungry. But very cute, guys. Now I'm headed to karaoke. I'm gonna go home, change real quick. I'm probably gonna be running late. Um, but I'm gonna change. Um, but the place looks super cute. Like, it's like Hello Kitty. Like, there's a Hello Kitty room and then there's different rooms for the karaoke. I'll show y'all more when we get over there. But um, let me get dressed and then we're gonna be out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
stress how fun karaoke was last night like i can't even say it enough if there's like a group of fun girls that you have and you're in the atlanta area or it's like birthday coming up rent a room and have some karaoke or some bottles like it was so fun i damn near lost my voice um but now i just woke up well i woke up like an hour ago i had to re-dye my hair so it actually matches my bundles who's calling me my boyfriend had to do some last minute running around Hi, babe. Don't ever listen, bro. What? Pull a bitch. Woo, girl, he going through it. Child. I told him to just come home. But um, what was I even saying? I don't even remember. But I'm about to make myself some lunch. It is 11:40. Shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring yet another video. Love them. I'm gonna be making the silky Sicilian penne, honey. So let's go ahead and get to it. If you guys aren't already familiar with HelloFresh, it is fresh, pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your door. I personally love HelloFresh because it helps you out with your food goals by staying on track with very simple recipes that help limit prep time and trips to the grocery store, which can get to be very annoying in my opinion. I have never had a bad meal with HelloFresh and I'm not even exaggerating, they're all so delicious and fresh. The produce goes from the farm to your doorstep in under a week to guarantee peak freshness. They also offer a variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options for people who have other things to do in the evening time other than to cook for hours. And I can't forget how sustainable HelloFresh helps you be because all of the pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep and you waste less food for sure. I definitely recommend you guys try out HelloFresh. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code AlexisRebecca16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. I must say guys, it's very good. And one thing about me, I'm not a huge mushroom girl, but in this pasta, you can hardly like really taste them. And I slice them down really, really small delicious it's the tomatoes and zucchini for me okay so i just took a quick um target run before i left yes i'm wearing the same outfit from last night however i washed it because i want to travel in it it's so comfortable <laughs> it's from manier De you know i don't know how to say that manier devour devour whatever but i picked up a luggage scale i didn't even know these existed because i've been trying to put it on my scale and then i can't read it and then there's so many times i've been at the check-in counter at delta and i am rearranging my whole suitcase because i don't want to pay the extra weight fee so let's see if this works my bag feels very overweight by the way <laughs> oh this is overweight bro i already know so i don't know how it works i guess you just See if this is some bullshit or not. What? It's time for us to go. It's 2 or 4. Yeah. We can leave at 2 30. Yeah. Okay. 2. This bag says 80 pounds. I'm not even fucking joking. This bag says 80 fucking pounds. Yo. with his back can you when you're done can you hurry up so you can help me with this real quick uh -huh. i need you to hurry up and get dressed i need you to help me uh measure it like weigh this luggage i bought a scale <laughs> he'd be so over me he noticed it's smart though child my bag is 70 pounds that's just ridiculous so i don't think this little thing works so we're just gonna have to wait <laughs> 
and see at the airport but i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because we gotta go if you made it all the way to the end thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe leave a comment turn on your post notifications for my next vlog and i'll see you guys next time